Jacksonville International Airport travelers used to transversing the 40-year-old Concourse A will experience a transformation next week. This is the new Concourse A, which will open to the public Tuesday. It's part of a $170 million project to nearly double the size of Concourse's A and C while adding two additional gates. Flights will actually land on this concourse on Tuesday evening, those that terminate here and that will be remaining overnight. So our first full day of operation on this concourse will be on Wednesday the 7th of May. Almost 40 years to the date that we open Jacksonville International Airport uh, coming from Emerson. A Delta, Northwest, and AirTran will be operating on the western half of Concourse A. So if you have gone out on a day trip on, um, on Tuesday morning next week and you're, just, you're coming back in uh, Tuesday night, you will get the wow factor when you land at Jacksonville International Airport. You probably will be thinking that you've landed at the wrong airport. Stewart says the old concourses are about 45 feet wide. This one is about 100 feet wide and it's filled with upscale amenities such as sinkless bathrooms, flat screen TVs and upscale retailers. We've already opened the uh, Sam Sneed uh, uh, Tavern which is pre-security and it's a very nice place. We opened about two months ago a Chili's 2 which is a small where you can grab a sandwich or something to go or you can sit down at the bar or at the Chili's. We'll be opening uh, Brooks Brothers uh, retail space in about uh, 30 days. And not surprisingly, travelers are looking forward to the upgrades. I happen to think it's a great idea. It's, um, it's not a huge airport, but it's a very nicely laid out airport. And the service here is great. You never have to wait around too long for anything. And I think it's only going to improve things. I mean, there are so many beautiful airports out there, like Atlanta, for, for instance. And um, that's very nice also. But um, I think it's going to be great. And this area is growing so. And I think in years to come, it's going to be very well appreciated for what they are doing now. Well, I think a good thing for Jacksonville. You know, Jacksonville is a very nice city. I think uh, they need a bigger airport to accommodate all the uh, tourists from all over the place. Reporting from the Jacksonville International Airport, I'm Bill Bortsfield for Jacksonville.com.